What's good with the YouTube? You already know the convicts reaction with your boy Flacco coming live and direct, man. How you guys doing out there? Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell notification to get more reactions from your boy Flacco. So as you can see, we're gonna get to it, man. This ain't a video reaction. This is a reaction to a continuous beef that has been going on for a, a while. Um, a, a, a prisoner's awakening versus Gunners Collective, man. And I'm gonna try to give you guys just the unbiased, real perspective of everything that I heard. Okay. One, you know, first and foremost, you know, I think that everybody has to take heed that, you know, all this stuff, the beef and whatnot, it doesn't do any anything to value either anybody's channel. You know what I'm saying? As far as the gunner, it's not going to, it doesn't affect him good or bad. You know what I mean? Um, a prisoner's awakening, it, it's like this when it, when it happens. You know what I'm saying? Some people will have a difference of opinion about certain things, man. But at the end of the day, man, um... Neither side is really winning on this, you know what I'm saying, and um, you know I, I'm I'm okay with the prisoners awakening, you know what I'm saying. We're we're good. We really never had any issues. One one petty issue that was a, a misinterpreted thing in the past. Gunner's collective. I'm either fucking real tight with Gunner or I'm fucking ready to go to war with him. You know what I'm saying. We're like this, <laughs> real tight war, real tight, and it's always usually stems from other people trying to stir the pot. You know what I'm saying. Um, there's been some stuff that we already know about, but. You know, uh, as grown men, you know what I'm saying? This is my message to both these individuals. As grown men, sometimes, you know, there could be certain things that, that you know, we get out, people get out of character, they get they affected by it, and, uh, you know, we have to own up to it, you know what I'm saying, on all fronts, you know what I'm saying? Um, two wrongs don't make a right in any type of situation. Um, you know, I, I get part of where L was affected by a lot because he was going under attack on a lot of things. Some stuff may be true, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's stuff, some stuff that, like I, I said before, I wasn't in the inner circle of things that were going on. Some of the stuff makes sense in what I've heard, and some of it I haven't heard. Um, as far as L's channel being taken down, um, I'm not going to sit there and categorize that Gunner did that because there's no really proof to it. Um, it's hard to really sit there and make a claim like that without any substantiated facts. I know people would like to that because they want to stir the pot. You know, this it could have been it could have been based upon conduct and certain things that were said on his live. It could have been based upon uh, other people that are just reporting him. It could have been trolls trying to set the situation up. It could have been people Gunner and and min, some of his minions. <laughs> what I mean by minions, people that follow him, doesn't mean that he's behind it. Or it could have been Gunner too. He says it's not. You know what I mean, so you, I'm always going to give some people the benefit of the doubt on that. But in any event, you can't prove who it was or what it was. So you can only go with what you what you know. And what you know is that the channel is was taken down somehow. And the thing is, the only thing I will say is this. If you're copyrighted, they're going to give you notifications that you're copyrighted. YouTube is going to give you a reason why your channel is going to be taken, was taken down. If it was just deleted, it's not going to give you a reason. You deleted it. You know what I'm saying? And these are facts. You're not going to hear nothing else from anybody else. As far as so it's kind of hard for people to sit there and say, this person did this, this person did that. No. You know what I'm saying? It's, I think sometimes, to be honest with you, I think some people don't mind a little bit of the conflict or, or, or the issues and problems. You know what I mean? Um, but as far as these two individuals, man, whatever the beef is, right? I know parts of it. I know a little bit of it. I know what I've heard. I know what I, the things I do know as factual to me. You know, the only thing that, that I've, I've had a problem with was the one remark that, that he said in, in a in a live video on Dubs's video that one time. Other than that, I get all the other issues. Whatever's being said, the shit talking isn't isn't that big. Um, but I, you know, the family parts and stuff like that. I think that's a no no. And I've told Gunner that from the get go. You know what I'm saying? But as grown men, you know, this is YouTube. People like the theatrics. People like the drama. You know what I'm saying? But I think real men would appreciate either resolving this in any form or fashion. Keeping it off YouTube, um, not continuing the beef. It's okay to be beefing for a little bit on YouTube, but it would be nice to hear people, you know, I mean, put out content that is just a, uh, you know, about what they want to put out there. You know what I'm saying? There's too many people who are up in this mix nowadays that don't really care about each other. You're starting to see more and more. Everybody wants to react on, on calling themselves prison genre channels, but they're just becoming reaction channels. And they're thriving off everybody else's conflicts and videos, man. You're giving everybody else content to do, like I'm doing right now, a video on this. You know, um, I, I like L. I think L's a cool dude. 
what I'm saying? Um, you know, like I said, I like Gunner. Me and Gunner have a really crazy fucking relationship, man. And a lot of times it's been stirred up by fucking outside influences, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people who shouldn't even be involved in the mix having a, you know, <laughs> an ability to comment and whatnot. And a lot of people stir the shit, man. You know, um, that's why it's real important that, that people get back to the basics, man, of why everybody came on the YouTube. Entertainment, whatever, giving real knowledge, giving good glitch out, tell, sharing your stories, man. That's what it's all about, man. But when you get people who are constantly at each other's throats, it, it deters everybody from whatever their intentions or, or motives are on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? If people want to become just a channel that just, uh, you know, gets into it, then so be it. There's enough people who, who feed off that, man. And um, I get where Ell's part, where he's feeling attacked because a lot of the, the a lot of views were made on him. A lot of subscribers would, would, would go over there and talk shit. And, you know, you have, you have all kinds of people who are in your ear telling you different information. You know what I mean? And, um... My my whole point today, like I said, man, since the new year is I'm going to stay out of any drama. I'm not going to react to anything as best I can unless, unless it got too personal. This is a different story. But it doesn't serve me any purpose to get all fucking upset over something that I can't reach out and deal with. Because if, if they don't want to, if someone can't reach out and deal with me the way they want to, then what they got to say really doesn't mean shit. It holds no fucking water. It holds no merit. And it's just a cowardice act. You know what I'm saying? And so in order for people to grow, sometimes we got to take the higher road in life. You know what I'm saying? You know, let, you know, my advice to L would be, you know what, focus on your family, what you're doing on, on your platform, what you're doing in, in your workplace, and the greater good of things that you want to do. Because otherwise, this is going to consume people. It's going to consume you. And people are feeding it just, this is what they want to bring up, this is what they want to look at. I get to ask all kinds of questions about this and that in the past, and I just be bypassing it now. And I got even a couple, like one or two smaller channels that just bump their gums at the side of their mouth, and I don't even give them any attention because they're really not worth my time. You know what I'm saying? Some people, if they're not on the level with, you, with what you were doing, then what they got to say doesn't mean shit because all you got to do is look at them and just fucking laugh it on by. If it ain't affecting you, who gives a fuck? Because they want that response, and the viewers want that response. And when you give them what they want, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a whole bunch of different attacks, opinions, and whatnot. You know, it's much better to sit there and take the higher road and say, look, man, this is where I'm at as a man. I got to, ch I'm here to change my ways, not go back to my old attitudes. Fucking focus on the family and do what you got to do. You know, and my advice to Gunner would be this, you know, Gunner, time and time again, you, you've, Gave an end to what fucking trolls have said about the other people are saying about you. It's happened twice with me before. So think about that. Don't always feed into everything that you hear because I've been seeing people commenting on Rojo's channel recently that are, the channels are just made and they're under with a fictitious name, fucking a female or male, just a random person saying this and that about which ain't true. So, you know, if we could go back to the basics, you know what I'm saying, as far as like, look, don't bite into everything that you hear. You know what I'm saying? And that goes to any subscribers out there too, man. Don't just go off insinuations, assumptions, or things that you hear. Go off the facts that you have. If you don't have no facts, it don't hold no water. I don't know where where people who've, who've been in the game, right, who know the game, don't understand that, you know, the, the five W factors, you know what I mean? Who, what, where, when, why. If you can't, if you can't compile that, then there's no reason to go any further. But now YouTube has became a thing about insinuations, what people think someone is doing or what people think someone did or, or whatnot. And I think in a lot of senses, we all can have misconstrued information because there's a lot of things that sometimes is true that you hear to what extent of it is. You know, I've seen situations that have happened on YouTube to where people think the other person is talking about each other. And next thing you know, it turns into a conflict that should have never, ever even existed. And therefore, you're giving control and power over to other people as opposed to yourself. You know, I'm guilty of that myself. You know what I mean? Um, but we're only human. And humans are never going to be without fault. Only one perfect is the man above. And we already know that. Well, I hope you do. But no human being is with, not without fault. Therefore, your actions at times are never going to be perfect. But it's important to own it. Move forward. You know what I'm saying? And... You know, show people that people can be grown men, not little kids. You know what I'm saying? Not no juvenile hall shit. Not no kindergarten shit. You know what I'm saying? If there's still that little little issue of funk that people may have, 
deal with it when you see each other. Deal with it behind the scenes. You know what I mean? You know, it doesn't need to be no fucking, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, rain to go deal with this. Because, yeah, that's good if you want to make some money. But if you feel this is too personal, then it ain't nobody's business but you and that person. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, people are letting their ego get in the way. And that's the main thing that we need to remember. I'm not afraid to shatter anybody's ego when I got something righteous to say that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? But I also know how to pump my brakes if I don't know every scenario or situation. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a lot of truth to what both these individuals are saying on a lot of things. And I also think that a lot of times it's fed by other individuals who maybe don't like these individuals. You know, it's it's hard for... for Men to sit there and say, you know what, man, I'm gonna let this shit go when they feel that they've been disrespected beyond, you know, uh, reason. And see, it didn't help that other people jumped in and, and, and threw out Gunner's name too after the Dubs interview to talk shit to someone. You know what I'm saying? Because this is this was an issue between these two. You know what I'm saying? But everybody feels that they have to have their hand involved in it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not one to sit there and tell anybody to shy away or back away from any type of conflict. Rock with it. You know what I mean? That's just the truth of it. But you know, did people forget where they came from or what they were about? And if people are trying to be a better man, look for a solution. If there's no solution, then why talk about it? Because then it just becomes gossip, you know? So a solution is needed and is necessary to continue this forward, you know? Anyways, someone just opened my door and I was like, oh, who the hell is this? Anyways, this is my reaction to their conflict, man. And look... I've had my conflict with different people throughout the, the uh, last year. You know what I'm saying? Some of it valid, some of it not valid. A lot of it wasn't valid when it was directed toward me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same token, there comes a time when you got to sit there and take the higher road and maybe be a shining light and example to others on how you, you or as men, deal with things. Because this isn't the way that a lot of us were raised. We didn't fucking deal with this on no social media platform. We didn't deal with it this way, talking, gossiping, and continuing. I've been guilty of it, though. I will say that. But there comes a time where you just address it and then leave it alone. And then, you know what I mean? Don't allow anybody to come in and fucking influence it. Don't let anybody come to give their input. Just do what you need to do because it's not going to serve any self-serving purpose for you. It's going to consume you. It's going to eat up at you. And if you allow other people to control you, then you're not control having control of your own life. You know, and this goes for both of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I think that in general, that everybody's salvageable. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's salvageable except for those that have done deviant or weird shit towards kids. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Um, that means anybody can change and they can correct their, their mistakes. So if any of these men have truly made any mistakes in the public eye or even behind the scenes, that's up for them to come clean and address it and say, look, this is where I stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes making an effort can go a lot longer as opposed to, you know I mean, continuing on with something because, you know, it'll start to affect your personal relationships. It'll start to affect with your friendships, your workplace and everything if you allow this shit to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, there's been a lot of, like I said, there's been a lot of stuff that has happened in other genre channels. This is like, you know, there's serious shit happening right now. Motherfuckers are getting clapped at. You know what I'm saying? And, People need, need to realize, you know what I'm saying? This isn't just YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I hear that, this is just YouTube. No, it's not just YouTube. This is motherfucking people's lives at times. They're putting them, themselves on the line. They're putting themselves at risk. Therefore, sometimes they need to fucking sit there and take a, take a breather, take a step back and look at everything. You know, that was the whole thing with myself was, you know what? This new year, I'm going to try to go back to being who I am, Flacco. Because when I'm on top of my game, man, I'm on top of it, man. Everybody knows that. But when I'm fucking affected by all the external influences or personal things, it affects me everywhere else. And I'm only human not to recognize that. You know what I'm saying? So I've been down this path. You know what I mean? I went through hell of shit last year. 90% of it was fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? Does it mean I didn't have a part in any of it? I could have a small part in some of it. Because I opened myself up for that. And that's the thing what I'm trying to get at. People are opening themselves up in these situations. The best response is no response at times. Deal with the shit like we say. If everybody was with it, if everybody's this and that, deal with it behind the fucking scenes or just let it go, man. You know what I mean? No one, people are going to judge you either way. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, 
know what I mean? Like I said before, either they rock with you and like you or they don't. I mean, I could come right now, have the cure for cancer, and there's still going to be a person who wants to talk shit about me. You know what I'm saying? I could sit there and save a whole bunch of kids that were drowning in, in a pool, and there's still going to be people who are going to have something to say about me. It doesn't matter. They're already fixated with that fucking thought, their thinking process. So don't give, give them the power of control. Just people need to do them. Because when people, you give the viewers control, they're controlling the whole narrative right here. And it just gets fucking blown out of proportion. And then you start to see the shit that we've seen last year. Anyways, this is Flacco of Conflict's Reaction. I felt this was an important video to talk on. I'm out.